Good morning and welcome everybody and thank you for joining this session. We are delighted to welcome you to this virtual event to officially launch PTE UKVI in Nigeria and to give you a little bit more information about the tests within our PT portfolio to help you make your way to the UK. My name is Muna Mazhar and I am the Head of Market Development for PTE Globally. I'm based in London and I work very closely with my colleagues in Nigeria and the wider Africa region to build PT Academic in this really important market. We have a great packed event for you today. We'll start with some messages from some Pearson colleagues who will talk about how we have been working in Nigeria and how we hope to work moving forwards. We'll then have a presentation where I will outline the tests within the PT portfolio to give you a clearer idea of exactly which test is suitable for which purposes on your journey to the UK. Some of you may be familiar with PT Academic, which we have been delivering in Nigeria for a number of years. We're really excited to now be able to add a UK government approved test to our portfolio, which will hopefully make things a lot easier for anybody who wishes to study or migrate. After the presentation, we will have a message from our chief guest, who is the Deputy British High Commissioner to Nigeria. At the very end, we will have a question and answer session. So if there are still questions that you have or you're not clear about anything, please do use the time in that question and answer session to raise any any questions you have. Our first message is from Mr. Ozan Toktas. Ozan is the managing director for the Middle East and Africa within Pearson, and he's going to talk a little bit about how we have worked in the region up to now and what we are looking to hopefully be able to achieve going forwards. On that note, I will hand over to Ozan now. Thank you, Muna. Hello, my name is Ozan Toktash, Managing Director at Pearson for Middle East and Africa. I would like you to introduce you to our business in role in Africa. Pearson is the world's learning company with more than 20,000 employees in 70 countries, and we are on a mission to help people make progress in their lives through learning. Our vision is to have a direct relationship with millions of lifelong learners and to link education to the way people aspire to live and work every day. We provide content, assessment and digital services to schools, colleges and universities, as well as professional and vocational education and qualifications to help learners increase their skills and employability prospects. In Africa, Pearson operates in over 30 countries. Through a combination of our quality products and services, sustainability initiatives, and social innovation, we support education courses that help remove barriers to achieving better learning outcomes throughout Africa. We are partners in education, and we believe in creating opportunities for individuals to equip people with knowledge and skills for lifelong employability. We believe in education that's more effective, affordable, personal, and accessible for the people who need it the most. PT is strategically important in our vision to help people progress in their lives. We provide an opportunity for people to realize their dreams of study or work or live in their countries or in a different, or in a different country. English language skills and international certification of these skills are undoubtedly a very crucial step into people's employability and lifelong journeys. We are proud to be able to provide that with PT. Thank you for taking time to attend this session. We hope you find it informative and helpful. Thank you, Ozan, for that overview. I'd now like to introduce you to Freya Thomas Monk. Freya is the Senior Vice President for English Assessment and is based in London. She's got a message for us around PTE and exactly how you can use it and the importance of Nigeria to our business. Hello, I'm Freya Thomas Monk, Senior Vice President of English Assessment at Pearson. It's a real pleasure to be with you today. I wish we could be meeting in person, but I'm grateful for the technology that allows us to meet together remotely instead. I look forward to visiting Nigeria, and in the meantime, I stay in London. Pearson has a long history of working in Nigeria, serving education in many different ways. 
We in Pearson are really proud of these links, and for me especially so in our work of English language learning and assessment. Around the world, demand for English language learning continues to grow with an estimated 2 billion people learning English, driven by their desire to transform their lives by studying abroad, emigrating, getting a job and pursuing their careers. Proving one's ability via the test is important and many millions of people around the world have done so with our Pearson Test of English. We developed this in-house over 10 years ago to meet the needs of people looking to pursue their dreams overseas. With the launch of our UK service in over 100 countries, we are pleased to further consolidate our position as a market leader and partner to governments. The strength of the relationship between Nigeria and the UK is strong, and I know that there are thousands of people in Nigeria who are learning English and applying for visas to pursue their dreams in the UK. Indeed, the UK is a traditional destination for young people from Nigeria. This is wonderful news and I wish them all well. We would like them to consider taking our PTE Pearson Test of English for visa purposes, a new way to go to the UK. I believe customers benefit from the experience and content of the test and appreciate the speed with which they receive their scores. Finally, I'd like to thank you for your ongoing support, including, of course, the Pearson team working hard to deliver our services in Nigeria. Thank you all. Thank you, Freya, for those words. OK, the next part of the event is a presentation that I will be giving to you just to outline the three tests that sit within our PT portfolio. You'll be able to understand a little bit more clearly exactly which test would be the right test for you to take on your journey to the UK. I hope you find it useful. So now's our chance to look in a little bit more detail at the PTE portfolio. So. In this presentation, I'll be talking about PTE, a new way to the UK. The PTE portfolio is a group of computer based language tests which provide the most unbiased and secure proof of a candidate's English skills. And we'll talk a little bit about why they're the most unbiased in, in a moment. The portfolio consists of three different tests, PT Academic, PT Academic UKVI and PTE Home. Now, PT Academic is a standard test for skills that is accepted for Australian and New Zealand visas and is recognised by universities around the world for international study. PT Academic UKVI is the exact same test as PT Academic with the four skills and um, the same content, the same format. The difference is that this one is the version that you would take if you wanted to apply for a UK visa. PT Home is a slightly different test. It's a two skills test and we have three different versions at the different CFR levels of A1, A2 and B1. This is for UK family and settlement visas. So it's a much shorter test and is used for a slightly different purpose. I will go into a little bit more detail later on about the two different types of test. OK, so what makes PT tests different? Well, these are our four pillars. Firstly, it's more convenient. We have simple online booking. Everything can be done from your computer. You don't need to visit a, te a test centre. You don't need to pay cash or anything like that. You can book up to 24 hours in advance of a test session. So there's no deadlines, booking deadlines, as sometimes you find with other tests. We offer tests around the world on 365 days of the year, and we can really adjust our schedules to meet the needs of a particular market. So if a lot of people need to take a test in a particular location, we can open up extra sessions to make that feasible. It's one single test over three hours that you don't have to go back for a speaking component or do anything else. You just go to the test centre on one occasion and sit all four components of your test. And then our results come out exceptionally quickly. So within 48 hours of taking your test, you will typically have your results. That's a really great turnaround time and of course is massively helpful for students and migrants around the world who need to take a test as part of a wider process. Secondly, it's really accurate. Computer-based marking ensures that we have impartial and accurate marks. 
what we do is we remove any bias that you might get with human markers. Somebody has a bad day, somebody's tired, somebody isn't so used to a particular accent, for example. Those are all things that affect a human marker. What our systems do is take out all of that and just look at your language ability and making sure that you, they are providing you with the right score for your capabilities. You can see there that we've got a little note about the standard error of measurement. So we've done various studies around the standard error of me measurement that all tests have. Every test has some level of, of error in its scoring. And PT Academic actually has the lowest standard error of measurement amongst this type of test. Our tests are relevant and objective. We use genuine academic content and we use something called integrated tasks. So that means that we test more than one skill within a particular task. Now, the reason that we do that is it's much more relevant to real life. That's the kind of situation you'll find yourself in when you are studying or when you move to a new country to start a new life. You don't just listen. You don't just speak. You use more than one skill at one time. And that's what we want to reflect in our tests. And then our security is exceptionally high quality. We have a fully digital experience from end to end. So that provides greater accuracy along with our computer based uh, marking and also heavy security so that you can rely on the results that you receive, knowing that that is an accurate score and that it, there was no interference in your test. OK, in terms of how you register, take the test and receive your results, it's a really streamlined process, which you can see nicely in this in this graphic. First, you can book your test online or by phone on our mobile app. So you can do that without having to speak to anybody. You can make your payment. You can do all of the things you need to do. Select your date, select your location and make that payment and receive an email confirmation. You can access our preparation resources that are available on our website. There are some free resources. There are some paid resources. There are a massive bank of, of resources available to you to really make sure that you can be fully prepared for the test you're about to take. On the test day itself, you go to the test centre on that one occasion, as I mentioned earlier. So you will attend for three hours where you will sit the listening, speaking, writing and reading components together. And there's no need then to return to the test centre for any reason. Your scores will be ready within 48 hours. And actually, just to show you on the right hand side there, exactly how quickly we can produce those scores for you. So in 2018, our average score turnaround time was two days. And that's what we still uh, advise, that it will take two days for your results to come. However, the majority of people do receive their scores in 1.2 days. So that results turnaround is really getting shorter and shorter and therefore helps with your plans and what you want to do with your life. Finally, once your scores are ready, they are sent to your account, your Pearson account. From that account, you can see your breakdown of scores and what you can do from there as well is then send them to an institution that you have applied to if you're going to study or to a migration agency if you are applying for a visa of some description. You can do that directly from your account. It doesn't cost you any money and there are no limits on how many different organisations and institutions you can send your scores to. So to be able to do that from your mobile phone, for example, again, hopefully makes your life very easy, straightforward, makes the process that you're going through a little bit smoother. A little bit of information about the test day itself. When you go to a test centre, you need to just arrive 30 minutes before your test time. You need to agree and sign the test taker rules and regulations. The administrator will check your passport and take some biometric information. And what we mean by biometric information is a palm vein scan, an electronic signature and a photograph of you on test day. You'll sit the test at a dedicated workstation, as you can see in that picture there. 
by yourself. So you're not being interrupted by anybody else in the room. You can concentrate on your own test and really do the best that you can in your own test. Just to be clear, the test taker is monitored by CCTV for the duration of the test. And that links back to the security that I was talking about earlier, in that we want to ensure there is no malpractice, that nobody is trying to look at your answers or that you are doing anything like that with, uh, with anybody else in the room. So to ensure that everybody's test is secure and safe, we monitor everybody through CCTV. OK, I talked about the three different tests in our portfolio. So first of all, just to give you a bit more information about PT Academic and PT Academic UK VI. The content of the test and the structure is, as you can see on the screen, we have a first part which covers the speaking and writing components and the different types of tasks that you will see in that section. The timing of that section is between 77 and 93 minutes. And the reason for that range of, of time is because when you come to sit a test, you're given a random set of questions. You won't have the same set of questions as the person sitting in the booth next to you. Everybody gets their own set of questions so that your test is really unique to you. So those questions may make up 77 minutes of the test or they may make up 80 minutes or 90 or 93 minutes. The second part of the test is the reading section where you can see there you'll have some multiple choice questions, you'll reorder some paragraphs, you'll fill in some blanks. And again, you've got a test, a time range there for how long that particular section will take. After the reading section, there's an optional break of 10 minutes. You can you can just jump over that break if you wish or if you'd like to you can step out have a drink of water etc take a washroom break and then return for the final part which is the listening section and there again you can see the different types of tasks that fall under the listening section and the time that it takes once you've completed that final section if you are free to leave so if you move through the test more quickly than the full three hours once you have completed and submitted that test, you are free to leave. You don't need to stay till the end, which um, I know in some cases you are required to stay and that can be a bit frustrating. But hopefully this makes again makes things very easy for our test takers. In terms of the scores, this is what your results will look like. You will typically receive your scores in two business days, as I've said before. The example on the right there shows what you will see. You'll see your four communicative skills listed, listening, reading, speaking and writing, and your score out of 90. We score on a scale of 10 to 90. What you see below the main scores are those scores we call enabling skills. And in that section, you have some scores for grammar, oral fluency, pronunciation, spelling, vocabulary and written discourse. Now, those scores are not scores that you will be asked to provide by an institution or by a migration agency. But what they are useful for is you and your teachers or your accepting institution. It shows you where you might need to do some work, where you could perhaps spend some time doing some more preparation work or extra study. So in the example that you can see on the screen there, the written discourse score for this particular candidate is 11. Remember, the score is not, uh, 10 to 90. So a teacher would advise a, a student with this score to perhaps focus a little bit on their written work and look at some preparation materials that really focused on that aspect of their English language ability so that they could increase that score a little bit. To confirm, once you've received those scores, you can assign those scores to your institution or your government agency direct from your Pearson account. You don't need to contact the test centre and you don't need to contact Pearson. You have access to all of what you need within your own account and you can manage that the way you need to, to make sure that the right people get your results. In terms of PT Academic, it is recognised around the world. As you can see very nicely in this particular slide, we have global recognition. So we have 
full recognition in Australia and New Zealand, 100% of universities and all visa categories accept PT academic. In Malaysia and Singapore and other countries around Southeast Asia, we have really strong recognition. The Malaysian Qualifications Agency accepts our test. We have numerous institutions in Singapore that accept our test. Around Europe, we have growing recognition across across the whole continent. In Sweden, Finland and Ireland, we've got 100% of universities, 88% of universities in Norway. We have a growing number in Germany, which I know is, is an important destination for students in this particular market. And we are constantly growing those recognition numbers. So every month you'll see more and more universities added to that particular group. In the UK, we have recognition for all UK visas. And that's what this launch event is all about, to really highlight just what a great, great route this provides for people who want to go to the UK. We also have recognition by the Chevening Scholarship, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. It's a great scholarship programme which has produced some fantastic leaders around the world. And uh, we hope to see many more coming through that programme and using PT Academic to get to their institution in the UK. 98% of universities in the UK recognise PT Academic. So you can have full confidence when you take PT Academic that it is the test that will allow you to follow your dreams and pathway into the UK. In Canada and the US, we have great recognition as well. 90% of universities in Canada accept the PT Academic test. And in the USA, we've got over a thousand institutions which recognise PT Academic, including Harvard Business School and Yale. And of course, again, a scholarship programme, which you've prob you're probably very familiar with, the Fulbright, Fulbright Scholarship. OK, just to move to PTE Home, which is a two skills test that I mentioned a little bit earlier. PT Home is a test that covers three different levels, A1, A2 and B1. And depending on what stage of your settlement process you're in, you will need to take one of those level tests. The test is approximately 30 minutes in total, so it's a much shorter test than PT Academic. There are approximately 30 questions in the test and the test taker receives only a pass or fail result. So that's different again from PT Academic. It's, um, it's less detailed in terms of what it provides you with on the score report. And just to give you an idea of what that score report looks like, as I mentioned, you get to pass or fail. The test results for this particular test for PTE Home are normally available within five days, as opposed to the two days for PT Academic. The report contains a CELT URN. That is a unique reference number that is, uh, that is needed for your visa application for settlement or family visas. OK, so which PT test do you need to take from our portfolio? Well, here is a graphic which hopefully makes it a little bit easier to understand exactly which type of test you need for which purpose. At the bottom there, you can see that for all settlement purposes, you would need to take a PT home test. Now, depending on which route, you would need to take the A1, the A2 or the B1 test. And I'll, I'll go through that route in a little bit more detail in a couple of slides. For study purposes, you need to take PT Academic. Now, whether you need to take PT Academic UKVI or PT Academic Standard is something that, again, I will go over in a moment, but you will need to take a PT Academic version for study. And for work, you have a mixture. Mainly it's PT Academic, either UKVI or Standard, but there are a couple of particular visas within the work category where you would need to take a PT Home visa. So that would be representative of an overseas business and a Tier 2 sports person visa. So for UK study, I mentioned that you'd need PT Academic or PT Academic UKVI. Now, there's a really straightforward pathway to understanding which is the right test to take for your purposes. 
So if you start at the top of this flow chart, will the student be taking a degree course or above? If the answer to that question is no, they will be going into a foundation level course, for example, then that student will need to take a PT Academic UKVI test. If the answer to that question is yes, then the next question you have to just ask yourself is, is the institution that the student is going to is applying to a visa? Does it have sorry? Does it have visa approval status? Again, is it a is it a tier four sponsor? Now, if it is a tier four sponsor, then you simply need to take a standard PT academic test. You can still take a PT academic UKVI test if you wish, but you do not need to if the institution is a visa has visa approval status. If the institution does not have visa approval status, then you will need to take a PT academic UKVI test. So that flowchart hopefully explains things quite clearly. And once again, just to reiterate, there is no difference between the two tests in terms of the in terms of the content or the format. The difference is around the booking and what the Home Office, the UK Home Office needs to have in terms of a unique reference number, which is linked to your visa application. That is the only difference between the two tests. And this next slide, again, should hopefully make this really clear to you in terms of the two different tests. As you can see, PT Academic and PT Academic UKVI, either test can be used for Australian visas and migration, New Zealand visas and migration, university entry around the world and scholarship programmes. When it comes to UK visas, that's where you must take the PT Academic UKVI version. So that, if you just keep that in mind, the, the UKVI version will work wherever you need to take it. But if you don't need to take it for a UK visa purpose, then the standard PT Academic does work in that scenario. And in terms of PT Home, I mentioned that I would go over that process in a little bit more detail. So in this flow diagram, you can just get an idea of exactly what that process is if you are applying for a family or settlement visa. So when you apply for a, a visa, for example, for your spouse within six months of arrival into the UK or about in advance of going to the UK, you would normally take that PT Home A1 test. Two and a half years later, where you need to reapply and show progress in your English levels, that's where you would take the PT Home A2 test. And then two and a half years after that, when you would be applying for either indefinite leave to remain and then on to citizenship, that's where you take the PT Home B1 test. So really, PT Home provides you with a full solution for your settlement route. And you just need to select the right test at the right point in your journey. But what we can do at PTE is provide you with the whole process from beginning to end, which hopefully will make your, your journey much smoother. OK, so I hope that that outlines the three tests nicely for you and that it has answered all your questions. Please do, of course, get in touch with us at any point if you have any further questions or if anything isn't clear or you'd like more information about any of those three tests. I hope you found that presentation informative and that it answered all of your questions about the different tests that we have on offer. Of course, if you do have further questions or there's any other information that you'd like about anything at all that was covered, then please do either pop your question into the chat box or, of course, get in touch with us at any time. It's really important that we are able to make sure you are clear on exactly what options you have on your journey to the UK. OK, next up, we have a couple of messages from representatives at the Department for International Trade. First, we will hear from Chim Chalamera, who is a country director for Nigeria at the ZIT. She will then be followed by Boma Bedi Member, who is the Education, Technology and Creative Sector Lead for Nigeria, also at the DIT. Hello everyone, my name is Chim Chalamera. I'm the country director for the Department for International Trade in Nigeria. 
I'd like to say how pleased I am to be here today and I'd like to thank Pearson for inviting me to be part of your launch of your PT Academic UKVI. The Department for International Trade has staff in over 100 countries worldwide and in Nigeria we're primarily based in the Deputy British High Commission in Lagos and we also have a couple of staff in the British High Commission in Abuja. Our dedicated team are there to cater for all trade and investment relations between Nigeria and the UK um, and we also offer a range of services to UK bus businesses, UK based businesses, providing them with advice, expertise and support to ensure their success in Nigeria and vice versa for Nigerian companies who wish to do business with the UK. A major part of my role here in, in, in Nigeria is to strengthen the bilateral trade relationship between the UK and Nigeria. Personally speaking, I could not be more honoured to be working on behalf of Her Majesty's Government to bring these two great nations closer together. Nigeria and the UK have a long-standing um, historical relationship and historical ties, and bilateral trade between our two countries is increasing every year. I am therefore delighted that Pearson is investing in opportunities here in Nigeria and that we can launch the PTE Academic UK Skill English Language Test. This will enable even more people here in Nigeria to access working visas, which will help deepen our relationship even further. Nigeria has a large diaspora community in the UK, and I believe that the, the PTE will increase those numbers even further. With an estimated four billion pounds of trade value flowing between our two countries, the UK government is committed to, in, to increasing the bilateral trade and investment between Nigeria and the UK, because we have a huge range of mutual economic interests and we want to see Nigeria grow even more prosperous. As the UK leaves the European Union, we want to deepen our relationship with Nigeria and help increase the, the number of English test options available for those who are in need of working visas. It's a virtual launch for an online test and I'm so pleased that we're part of this. Good luck to all of those who will be sitting for the PTE language test and congratulations, Pearson, for your launch. Hello, everyone. My name is Boma Bedi Member, and I'm the Education Sector Lead for the Department for International Trade, Nigeria. And it's a pleasure to be here today. I would like to extend my thanks to Pearson for inviting me to be a part of the launch event of the PTE, Academic UKVI. I just want to talk a little bit about Nigeria and our education space. Um, Nigeria is said to be the most populous nation in the world by 2050 and it's filled with abundant natural resources, a vibrant population, diverse culture, and also youths with entrepreneurial spirits. Education is actually a crucial sector in Nigeria, being a major investment in human capital development. Is a, it plays a critical role in long-term productivity and growth at both micro and macro levels. This explains why the state of the education um, sector within Nigeria is actually um, of great importance. And this, this keys into the fact that the opportunity for the UK education system to partner with Nigeria in, in order to develop, grow um, a prosperous nation on both sides. At this point, it's also important to realize the discussions on education its reforms to make it contribute meaningfully to the national development, um, as mentioned before. In the UK, Nigeria has found uh, a great partner. The UK's education system is about, um, amongst the best in the world. The British education system has played a central role in the development of Nigeria's education sector. 60% of independent schools still use the British curriculum, with parents often choosing UK's offer for the diverse, recurse, and well-rounded education it provides. Nigeria and the UK has a long-standing relationship um, from my former colleagues that have you know, mentioned on, on this video already, from trade flows, um, to a large diaspora community that we have. You know, Pearson has been a family name in Nigeria as well, and Her Majesty government um, commends them for the work they are doing in Nigeria. And I believe that the PT skills language um, English test is, will contribute to a long-standing relationship and even deepen the ties, you know, 
um, between Nigeria and the UK. It's a virtual launch and for an online test and I'm pleased to be a part of this. Wishing everyone sitting for the PT language test in the future in Nigeria, best of luck and congratulations to Pearson on your launch and it's great to be here today. Thank you. Thank you, Chim and Boma, for those messages. It's really great to hear about the close ties that Nigeria and the UK have and how we really hope and expect those ties to grow even further. Our next message is from our chief guest, who is the Deputy British High Commissioner to Nigeria. It is my pleasure to introduce Mr Ben Llewellyn Jones. Thank you very much. My name is Ben Llewellyn Jones. I'm the British Deputy High Commissioner in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm delighted to be able to give a message of support at the virtual launch of Pearson's PTE Academic UK Secure English Language Test. The test has been accredited by the UK Visa and Immigration Service. The test is also recognised by 98% of academic institutions and universities in the UK. And it's a fast, reliable and efficient service. And alongside other providers, including the British Council, Pearson offer an excellent service and an excellent opportunity for those who wish to pass the test and go on to apply for a UK visa to work or to study in the UK. Much has changed over the last 12 months, but the importance of education has not. The UK still provides 18 of the top 100 universities in the world, and we welcome the second highest number of international students globally. I hope that you may consider applying to go to the UK to work or to study, and to take advantage of the excellent opportunities that are there available. And I'm really pleased to be able to say that Pearson's test gives you that chance. So thank you very much. Thank you very much to Pearson and good luck with your work. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ben, for those words and for the support and the congratulations. The next part of our event is a short question and answer session. I have some colleagues who have very kindly been collating some of the questions that are coming through on the chat. And so we'd like to address some of the main ones that are coming through. We won't get time to address everything, but of course we will try and address those in a follow up email. And of course, as I've mentioned before, please do get in touch if a question that you have has still not been answered or you're not clear on, on anything. So I'll just go through a few of the questions that have come through during this event. OK, so the first question that came through was, can PT tests be taken to go to other countries? And the answer to that is yes. So you need to just be clear on exactly which test or you need to take for your purposes. So if you're coming to the UK, as we've been talking about, you will need to take a UKVI test if you are making a visa application. If you are going to Australia or New Zealand, for example, you can just take a standard uh, PT academic test. The UKVI test will also work, but you don't need to take that if you are going to Australia or New Zealand. Then, of course, if you are going to study somewhere like the US or Canada or somewhere in Europe, you can also take a PT academic test as long as your institution recognises the test. So please do always check directly with your institution. But remember that PT academic is often an option for you. Right, the next question is how long are the PTE tests valid for? So your score is valid for two years from the date that you take the test. So that will sit within our systems for two years and you can assign your score to any institution or any government agency as many times as you wish in that two year period. There is no cost to you. Your institution can then check that score through the Pearson database. At the end of two years, your score will no longer be in that system. So at that point, if you did still need an English language score and need to send it to somebody, you would need to take another test. Ah, OK, another question. What is the cost of a PT test? So our costs vary depending on the market. So please do always check the, the cost of your test by going to our website at pearsonpte.com. There's a page called Test Centres and Fees, which lists all the different costs for the different type of tests. For Nigeria, just so you know, the standard PT academic test costs 72,000 Naira. The UKVI version is slightly more expensive at 76,000 Naira. And then the PT home test is 64,500 Naira. 
So there will be a difference between those three tests in all our different markets, but do check uh, the currency will be different as well. OK, here's an interesting one. How accurate is scoring for PTE tests? So as I've mentioned earlier, our, te our tests are scored through automated scoring. Now, what that means is that we have very sophisticated algorithms that have been trained using a number of responses and a number of raters, that is examiners. So, for example, when we first trained the, the systems, we used over 10,000 candidate responses of, from over 120 different nationalities and um, hundreds of examiner scores. And then we trained the systems to be able to score exactly like those examiners. That process is continuous. We are regularly calibrating our, our systems to make sure that they remain accurate. And we have done a number of studies around the accuracy of our scores. And what we have found is that the standard error of measurement, that is the small, the small space for error that is that is uh, that exists with uh, every test of this nature, is extremely small for PT Academic. And in fact, it is the smallest standard error of measurement of all the tests of this nature. So the difference in score that you might see between our scores and the and the human rater are actually much smaller than the difference that you might see between two human raters. So we are really confident in telling you that our scores are very, very accurate. There is, of course, a lot of information around scoring, how it's conducted and what it means and how to understand your scores on our website at pearsonpte.com. So please do take a look. OK, and the next question is one that we do receive quite frequently. It's about test centres. And the question is, how do I become a test centre? So firstly, the thing to say is in Nigeria, we have a network of test centres. Of that network, two of those test centres also offer UKVI testing. So we have quite good coverage across Nigeria. Now, as you've been hearing over this event, we hope to expand our presence in Nigeria. We want to build our testing provision in this market. So we are, of course, always open to looking at where we might need new test centres and need to work with new partners. And as and when that time comes, we will, of course, be talking to suitable partners. In the meantime, however, there are a number of ways that you can work with us. So we like to have business and commercial arrangements with partners that don't necessarily involve test delivery. So you can, for example, purchase vouchers. And what that means is that you can purchase 10 or more vouchers in advance of tests being taken. And you can purchase those at a discount of five or 10%, depending on the number of vouchers that you buy. You can then sell those vouchers onto your clients or your students, and you can retain that discount that you that you got when you purchased the vouchers. So that's a way for you to really be involved in a partnership with us at Pearson in in terms of building the the number of students that are going to take a test. Of course, it's very easy to take a test. So you can send your students to take a test at one of our test centers. And then you don't need to actually be involved in the logistical and operational delivery of tests, which actually has in many markets is actually a, an op option which suits partners quite well. Another advantage of vouchers for Nigeria specifically is that um, there are often certain difficulties with paying by credit card and purchasing vouchers in advance means that you don't need to worry about that and your clients don't need to worry about paying by credit card. You can purchase vouchers, the bulk vouchers, using a bank transfer and then you can sell those on in cash so that there's no need for your students or your clients to actually make a credit card payment, which I do understand can be difficult sometimes. There is a lot more information about vouchers and how you can purchase them on our website. And we will, of course, send a link to the relevant pages when we send a follow up to this event. OK, I think that's all of the main questions that we have here. So and we're uh, running out of time. So like I said before, we will, of course, answer any further questions that are coming up in our follow up email. 
if your question still hasn't been answered, then please do feel free to get in touch and we can respond directly to you. We have representatives in, in Nigeria and in Africa more widely who can help on the ground as well with any of your questions or queries. And so that brings this session to a close. I really hope that you have found it useful, interesting, that you have learnt lots of new information and that you are clear on how you can make your journey to the UK and indeed to other destinations as well. I'm going to hand over to my colleague, Mr Chris Bothmer, to say the final thank yous and goodbyes. Chris has been working at Pearson for just over 20 years and is a business development director for the Africa region. So before I hand over to him, just from me and the Pearson team, I'd like to say a very big thank you. I hope it's been useful and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thank you and best wishes. Over to you, Chris. Thank you, Mona. Good morning to all who have joined us today for this virtual launch of Pearson PTE Test of English UKVI. I wish we could have met you all in person. However, I'm glad at least we've been able to connect virtually. A special thanks to Ben Llewellyn Jones, Deputy High Commissioner to the British High Commission Nigeria for his participation in this event. As our special guest, I would also like to thank both Chim Chimera and Boma Bidi member from the UK Department of International Trade Nigeria for their support and kind words today. My appreciation for the ongoing support goes out to Freya Monk Thomas, Senior Vice President, English Assessment at Pearson, and Ozan Toktas, Managing Director, Pearson Middle East and Africa. And finally, a thank you to Muno Azar for leading today's launch and presentation and to the teams who helped met to make today's event a success. It's been a pleasure to have you as our guests at this virtual Pearson PTE UKVI launch. For more information, please check out our website at pearsonpte.com and look out for us on Facebook and other social media channels. Thank you and good day.